Hi, how you doing? Justin here. Welcome to this short lesson in guided meditation, which is designed to recode our minds around what it means to perform. I'm writing this series with my friend Courtney McDermott, who is an expert in brain body science and a performance coach. For most of us, if we even just think about performing, our heart rate increases, all of our senses are heightened, we might start to feel a little bit lightheaded, have butterflies in our tummies, or we get slightly sweaty palms. Now these are perfectly normal physiological reactions, but we very often label them as anxiety. But what if instead of performance anxiety, we relabeled these completely natural body responses as performance excitement? It's the same event, but a very different interpretation. Now, I suffered from some pretty crippling stage fright on a European tour with the singer Katie Mellower. It was really, really scary. And it was while working through that that I realized that those feelings that I was labeling as anxiety and fear were exactly the same feelings that I had when I was about to do the thing that I loved. Big deal. Now, the realization helped a whole lot, but actually, like most things, it took quite a lot of practice to reinforce the idea and to make it into a permanent reality. Let me hand you over to Courtney to explain the brain body science. Hey, it's Court at CourtInc.com, where I talk a lot about how to use your mind and body to create more of what you want and less of what you don't. And I'm super, super excited to be here today with my dear friend Justin and with all of you and to pick up where he left off in talking about the difference between performance anxiety and performance excitement in terms of our biochemistry and our physiology. So in the first scenario, when we assign the meaning anxiety to the event, our bodies start to release stress hormones, cortisol, adrenaline, norepinephrine, and if prolonged, this kind of biochemistry can lead to all sorts of undesirable consequences. And you know what I mean? If you've ever had the, the jittery hands, the, the clenched throat, any tightness in your muscles. And of course, we all know what it feels like to watch a nervous performer. It's just not very comfortable for anyone. So now I want you to consider the second scenario. When we decide to label the sensations in our body as signs of excitement. We start to experience, in that case, an adrenaline rush, just like in the first scenario, which also helps increase our focus when it's under control. But now we also have some really powerful performance enhancers joining the chemical party. So we have things like serotonin, dopamine, endorphins, all things that make us feel good and contribute even more to that excitement. And of course, that also enhances the experience that our audience is having. So you see, there is an event which is neutral in and of itself, and then our interpretation of the event. And the simple act of reframing our perception of the same event allows us to live that event in an entirely different way and affect our audiences differently as a result. I'm going to suggest one more reinterpretation of performance, and then I'd invite you to join Courtney on a meditation where you can dig a little bit deeper into this stuff yourself. What if we replace the concept of performance with a much more empowering idea of playing? Performance is tangled up in all kinds of expectations and pressures, but we all love to play. And when we create and connect with our audience in that way, we all release oxytocin, which bonds us all together. Okay, it's time to explore these ideas a little deeper in a guided meditation with Courtney. Do remember that you can renew your awareness of these as often as you like. Hello again, and welcome to this short guided meditation to turn performance anxiety into performance excitement and eventually into play because we are here to play to have fun and to enjoy each other. So go ahead and get comfortable sitting or lying down, ensuring that your spine is straight and that you can be completely relaxed and undisturbed for a few moments. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and close your eyes. Taking a moment to deepen your breath, 
bringing yourself completely into this space, into this time, and into the power of your imagination. Einstein said that our imagination is a preview of life's coming attractions. So go ahead and put yourself in the theater of your mind. Allowing yourself to imagine being on your next stage. Let this be a stage you dream of being on. As you envision yourself stepping out into the light, seeing the beautiful faces reflected back at you, go ahead and feel all the butterflies. Take note of all the beautiful reactions occurring throughout your body. Breathe deeply and remind yourself I get to play now. I am so lucky to be here with these people. Feel the surge of excitement and let it energize and calm you at the same time. as you signal your autonomic nervous system to relax and enjoy. And breathe in the joy of shining your light and doing something you love. Taking your time, gently come back whenever you're ready.